so far we have discussed in calculus of variations the euler lagrange equation uh, and you know the euler lagrange equation gives the necessary condition for the path connecting between two points will be extremum or stationary so when that path will be stationary or extremum euler lagrange equation gives the necessary condition now today we are going to discuss some of the important applications of this technique of calculus of variations that is euler lagrange equation uh, in this first uh, lecture we are going to discuss a very simple application of euler lagrange equation and this is regarding geodesics in fact in this uh, we will show that the shortest distance between two points in a plane is a straight line and this is a very common statement and you are you will be definitely familiar with it but now as let us see here how we can prove that the shortest or least distance between two points in a plane is a straight line for this let us consider uh, the two points 1 and 2 uh, in xy plane and you can see this figure i have considered that the coordinates of point 1 is x1 and y1 and that of point 2 is x2 and y2 and there is a curve connecting uh, these two points as shown in this figure now let us consider two very close points on this curve first point is p and another is q and uh, you can see that corresponding to this point p the x coordinate is x and y coordinate is y and uh, corresponding to the point q you can see the x coordinate is x plus dx and y coordinate is y plus dy so definitely you can see that uh, from this figure that this pr is equal to dx and uh, qr is equal to dy and uh, let us consider this uh, element of the curve pq has a length ds we consider it so consider two points one whose coordinates are x1 y1 and 2 whose coordinates are x2 and y2 in xy plane xy plane and a curve 1 p q 2 is connecting them these two points connect the curve 1 to 1 p q 2 uh, in fact uh, p and q are two very close points very close points on the curve and I have assumed that uh, the coordinates of point P are x and y and that of Q these are x plus dx and y plus dy so in accordance with the figure you can say that this pr is equal to dx and qr is equal to dy you can see therefore this length you can say that pr pr is equal to dx and qr is equal to dy 
and let us suppose that the element of this curve between the points P and Q is ds and let PQ is equal to ds. This is an elementary length of the curve between the points P and Q. Now uh, from the geometry of figure it is clear that what will be this ds. You can see easily this ds will be simply equal to dx square plus dy square to the power half and you may simplify it a little bit. Let us take this dx square as a common factor then this will be simply 1 plus dy dx whole square to the power half dx. So this is actually the elementary length of the curve connecting the two closed points P and Q. Now if you want to find the total distance between the points 1 and 2. What will be that? That will be simply the integral of this uh, ds. So you can say the total distance total distance between the points 1 and 2 is given by you know as the curve is continuous so this will be simply i equal to integral of this ds between x1 y1 and x2 y2 and uh, we have already calculated the value of this ds here so you can put this and you can see this will be 1 plus dy by dx whole square whole to the power half dx and since the integrand is a function of x so we need only to write the limit for x and so I write here x1 and x2 there is no need to write the limit for y say this is equation 1 now we know in general the from the idea which we have discussed in the previous lecture that this in line integral i is actually expressed as uh, the integral of a functional f which is a function of y, y prime and x. So you have seen earlier that i is equal to what? This is integral from x1 to x2 f of y y prime and x dx you have already seen this integral in the previous lecture and you know here this y prime means what this is actually the first order derivative of y with respect to x so y prime is dy by dx now uh, comparing this uh, these two equations one and two you can see that uh, the functional f is what? Actually, this is the functional f. You can see here. So, you should write comparing equations 1 and 2 we get that this functional f which is a function of y, y prime and x is simply equal to 1 plus dy by 
dx whole square and whole to the power half and you may write it in this manner this is 1 plus y prime square whole to the power half now for uh, the distance between two points 1 and 2 which we have denoted by this symbol i will be minimum uh, only when the Euler Lagrange equation will be satisfied as you have learnt in the previous lecture. So you can say for i to be minimum for i to be minimum Euler Lagrange equation Euler Lagrange equation must be satisfied must be satisfied and when you say that Euler Lagrange equation must be satisfied you should remember what we have studied uh, Euler Lagrange equation in the previous lecture you know it is in fact d dx del f by del y prime minus del f by del y equal to 0. Now uh, we will substitute the value of f from here we have already obtained uh, this is the value of f and then simply differentiate it. So now substituting the value of f you will get this is d dx and del del y prime and what is f you have seen that f is simply 1 plus y prime square whole to the power half and minus del del y again f and f is what you have seen that this is 1 plus y prime square whole to the power half and this will be equal to 0. Now see this is d dx and now we will differentiate this 1 plus y prime square whole to the power half with respect to y prime. So you can see this will be simply 1 over 2 1 plus y prime square to the power minus half times 2y prime. This is actually the dc of this function with respect to y prime and minus. Now you can see 1 plus y prime square is not a function uh, explicit function of y and as we are doing partial differentiation so definitely then this derivative will be 0 so this is 0 and this equal to 0 now you can see this 2 and this 2 will cancel out and our result is d dx d dx y prime over 1 plus y prime square to the power half and this is equal to 0 this is equal to 0 so now uh, you can see that derivative of this function is 0 so definitely this should be equal to a constant so you can put this implies y prime over 1 plus y prime square whole to the power half equal to a constant and let us say this constant is c we consider it this is a constant now simply 
uh, square this equation both sides to remove this uh, square root so we will see that this will be y prime square equal to c square times 1 plus y prime square and this is simply c square plus c square y prime square now uh, let us simplify it a little bit you take this term in rhs in lhs and take this y prime square as a common factor then this will be 1 minus c square and this equals c square and from here you can see this y prime will be equal to what this is c over root over 1 minus c square and as you know this c is already a constant so definitely this should be some another constant and let this is equal to a which is a constant and let us say this is a so you can now see y prime is equal to a where a is a constant and y prime means what you know y prime means dy dx and this equal to a so now integrating this equation with respect to x you can find the value of y so this will be simply integral of dy equal to a integral of dx and so you can see this is simply y equal to ax plus b ax plus b and see this equation actually here b is another integration constant integration constant and now you can compare this equation with the standard equation of a straight line you know the equation of a straight line in slope form is y equal to mx plus c so this equation which we have obtained by using the necessary condition for i to be minimum uh, using the uh, Euler's equation or Euler Lagrange equation we have obtained that y equal to ax plus b so comparing with this uh, standard equation you can say this equation is nothing this is simply a, a this simply an equation of a straight line so uh, it means you can see that the shortest distance between the two points in a plane is definitely a straight line so this equation is equation of a, a straight line and so you can see that uh, the least distance between two fixed points in a plane is a, a straight line in accordance with the Euler Lagrange equation. So you can say that Euler Lagrange equation predict that uh, the least distance between two fixed points in a plane is a, a straight line. So the proposition which we have mentioned earlier is now proved. So